Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. I wanted to give you a quick video tour of our new Stocks Scanner membership service for fifth wave trading opportunities for US stocks. So from the main website, we can just click in pages, W5T Stocks Scanner membership. So this membership is only $97 a year, covers the data costs, and we've decided to do this standalone rather than develop a scanner for every single platform that we produce the indicator suite for. It's much easier. So they're updated daily before the US session opens. We have potential long fifth wave trade ideas, potential short fifth wave trade ideas on the weekly, the daily and the 60 minute time frame. And they're all downloadable spreadsheets. So very simple. We click on the members area and we have potential long trades, potential short trades and something else we have in there is trending stocks and indexes which are um, live and it talks about um, trending uh, stocks within news and social media. Uh, we can click on there and it opens up and it tells us what's going off with Walmart, whether it's social dumping, facility shutdown and lots of links to news and Twitter type articles there. So that's just an added bonus. So if we go to potential long trades, for example, this is very simple. Each day we'll add a new one. OK, and it'll be um, in date order. And it's a very simple. Just click on the image to download the spreadsheet. Let's do that now. OK, let's open the spreadsheet and go through it. OK, so this is very, very simple. It's a workbook. We have weekly, daily and 60 minute worksheets down here on the bottom. So on the weekly, for example, we give you the symbol, the description, the time frame, uh, which sector it is in, if, if it's posted to the sector, uh, which group, uh, the volume when we did the scan, it's yearly high and it's yearly low. And the same for daily. So these are the scan results for the 16th of January on daily. These are potential stock tickers that are ending their fourth wave and beginning their fifth wave. Again, complementing the strategy that we have for the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. And then 60 minute as well. Uh, and as you can see there, now not all of these tickers will set up perfectly on your indicator suite on your particular trading platform. This is raw data. The only thing we filter out are that the oscillator pullback has happened. So it's between 90 and 140 percent to give you a good starting point. And also that the stochastic has pulled back in either the oversold or overbought zone, depending on whether it's long or short. Uh, so in this case, it just gives you that starting point. And around about 80 percent of these stocks will uh, come up onto your um, indicator suite. You may have to uh, do some um, slight isolation of wave count. And again, I'll go through a quick few examples of that in a minute. But in essence, this gives you a really good starting point. So let's just have a quick look at the short trades. So potential short trades are exactly the same sort of thing. Uh, click on the image, download the, um, the spreadsheet. You can open up the spreadsheet. And there you go. So on the weekly, as you can see on this particular day, 16th of January 2018, there is a hell of a lot more potential short setting up on the weekly time frame than there was on the long uh, spreadsheet that we did. This is a scan results uh, and this is the daily. Again, a lot more potential shorts and then the 60 minutes slightly more. Um, one thing you have to be aware of. Because we've put these filters on for the stochastic and the oscillator, what may appear on a scanner on the 16th of January, on the 22nd of January, may not appear, but it still may be a good trade. So you've got to go back because it, once it moves out of the oversold or overbought zone on the stochastic, it won't appear in our filtered scan results. But it's still a good trade because we've started right at that beginning point at the end of wave four, beginning of wave five. And we've uh, um, put it there as a potential opportunity. Once it starts to move out of that stochastic, that opportunity is becoming more and more present. 
Uh, so it's important to get these scan results every day, build your watch list and just watch these progress each day. So that's it for the membership site. Very simple. It's only $97 a year, but it's to give you a really good start potential fifth wave trades on stocks. So now let's go and have a look at some examples using this spreadsheet and what you would do uh, with isolating the wave count and things like that. So let's go through a couple of examples from the spreadsheet and how you would uh, use and put them together on the indicator suite. I'm going to use uh, NinjaTrader for this example. So the first thing is I've got the short trades here on the weekly time frame. I'm going to look at FMSA here, Fairmont Central Holdings Weekly. So let's have a look at the chart. Okay, so when we first open the chart, we can see um, the wave count needs to be isolated. And we are looking for a short here. So we need to go for the highs here where my cursor is. We need to click, press F5. This is for Ninja Traders, slightly different for each one. And we isolate the bar count to start at this high. As we can see here, the wave four has started to pull back and it's in the uh, pullback zones, but it's still going higher. Remember, these scans give you the early stages or potential early stages of a fifth wave move, and we're looking to go short here. So one of the things that um, the filters on the scans uh, also does is pick out trades where the oscillator has also already pulled back but you still need to measure it so let's go through that again so remember we go from the highest point on the wave three to the zero line and then back to the highest point on the wave three and with ninja trader i've already got some um, templates that i've already built so I can load up the oscillator pullback and apply that. So that's, again, we've measured that. The, the scanner filter gives us an indication that the oscillator has turned through the zero. We just, it just doesn't know where it is. It also gives you the, the stochastic in the over bought zone for potential shorts. So at this moment, we add this to our watch list. FMSA has come up on the scans. It's on the spreadsheet. Uh, one of the ones that looks reasonably good. It's on the weekly time frame. It's now pulling up. It's into the pullback zones, but we just need to wait for that to find resistance, start to move back down, then look for an entry. So that's that's one example using the weekly on a uh, short. Let's go and have a look at um, a long on the daily. So this is on the spreadsheet for, uh, if you look down at the bottom here, daily and for the fifth potential fifth wave move so let's have a look at CAG um, let's have a look at the chart here on the daily so again we need to isolate the uh, the start of the Elliott wave and we need the lows it's a potential long on the daily time frame so we need these lows here so we click press F5 on the Ninja Trader again it's different on diff on each platform but we the main thing is we're looking for that low, we're looking to isolate the uh, the wave count from this low. And as we can see here, the wave four is now pulled back into the pullback zone. And we're just waiting for that to find support, which is pretty close. We can also see as well that the oscillator, again, it's the scanners filtered out and this is right at zero. This is still good, but we still measure it. We still put it on. So the highest point on wave three, down to zero, and then back up again. And let's just put that template on. Okay, so that's in our between 90 and 140 percent. The stock at six just crossed just in the oversold zone. So again, this is the daily from the scan results. We're looking for that wave four now to find support before it starts to head back up again. And then we'll get the, the target price printed as well. So that's an example on the daily. Let's have a look at a long on the 60 minute. 
So go back to the spreadsheet, click on the bottom here on 60 minute and we can see the scan results for this particular day on the 60 minute. And let's go for N I N F Y. Let's have a look at the chart. So as we can see here on the 60 minute, I've already isolated the bar count down here at these lows uh, and we are on the way for pullback. Let's just zoom in a bit a little bit on that. We can see now the wave four pullback seems to have found support in the green zone and started to pull away from there and just heading down a little bit here. Uh, we, we see this, the stochastics crossed in the oversold zone and come out and we the oscillator is good. Again, it's one of the filters where it shows that the oscillator is pretty good, but we still measure it because this is giving us the early indications of a potential fifth wave on each time frame these scan results so we 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 put them in we we put our extensions in on our 535 oscillator going back to zero back again so we can keep an eye on it we keep on this on our watch list just load my template up again apply and as we can see here we're just coming down below the 90% so this may this may come back down this particular stock it's come up on the scanner and it's not quite ready for an entry yet and we've had this initial way forward but this could come down a bit lower into another pullback zone as we can see the five, the 535 oscillators not quite there yet with between the 90 and 140% but it goes on our watch list as a potential um, fifth wave trade on the 60 minute so I've gone through a few examples there of how to look at the spreadsheet um, then get it on the chart isolate wave counts and have a look remember this is raw data on these spreadsheets so some of them may not work out very well but you've just got a massive choice and a good starting point for potential fifth waves both long short on the daily the weekly and the 60 minute time frame